What's up, everybody? This is the old man boxing fan, Anthony Joshua. You know what, man? The more I hear about the stuff you and Eddie Hearn talk about online, the more I'm like, geez. Maybe the first video when I, I, I said about Anthony Joshua is scared is was an understatement. Maybe I should have said, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn are terrified of Wilder. Terrified down to their souls. You offering the man 12.5 million. Let's say 12%. Let, let's keep it an even number. 12% of $100 million. Let's just say that. That's $12 million. You dudes are making off with how much? Like 88 mil? God damn, man. Yo, you talking about, you know, having ha having your cake and eat it too? You talking about not being fair? You talking about, hey, matter of fact, you are shitting all over Deontay Wilder with that kind of offer. I'm going to go ahead and be straight up with it. That's what y'all doing. Y'all saying, hold on. You ain't you ain't even worth 40%. But is this, this is also what I think he's saying. You know what? Let us get the most just in case you kill my ass in the ring. You know that shit. Let, 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 let's pretend I'm Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, talking to um, Deontay Wilder. Well, you did say you'll kill the man in the ring, you know. You know, you did say that, and it did make an uproar over here. So, just in case you do it, we want to make sure we're covered and his family is covered. <laughs> I mean, I know some of y'all saying, yo, that shit ain't funny, man. But look here. Come on, man. Y'all are that scared. Y'all have that much fear for the man to where you like, you know what? He might knock me mentally retarded. And he just might. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Yo, Deontay Wilder, when you get in the ring with his ass, knock the soul out of that motherfucker. Excuse my language. Hey, yo, no disrespect to you, Anthony Joshua. That's just my expression. Knock the soul out of Anthony Joshua, man. Yo, Deontay Wilder hit him so hard that he ain't going to throw no punches. He's just going to stay defense. Because you hit him so damn hard. And just hit him in his chest for just, just to show him. You know what I'm saying? And then pop his lights out. Make sure he wake up on the ground and don't know where the fuck he's at. Because, dude, for you to sit up there and say that yourself. And not, let, and not leave those details to your promoters. Yo, man, you put the heat on yourself. Because it came out of your mouth. I mean, yo, come on, man. You know, I, I, I mean, w what do you want people to think? Yeah, man. Well, really, you about you. Yeah, what does that say about you and Eddie Hearn? It says that you're scared of the man because you're going to give him a, a, a deal that you know that he ain't going for that. And if he do go for it, there's stipulations that you guys are not willing to concede to at all. So. On the rematch, after you get your jaw wired, <laughs> you gonna take twelve point five percent or twelve percent? My bad, twelve percent. You gonna take that and let him get the rest of the pie? The eighty-eight. You gonna let him get that? Nah, y'all ain't mentioned nothing about that. You know why? Because you're not going to. Matter of fact, you're hoping that he doesn't take the deal. You know that twelve percent. Is going to cause an issue. Yes, it is. So you throw it out there. Yep. Oh, here's Anthony Joshua. Yep. I'm paraphrasing all of these, all of these um, little terms that they're speaking. <laughs> if it was me, I would take the deal. I would take it. Really? So you're saying that once you get your jaw wired, 
and you take the rematch, you're going to take 12%, right? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. I really wonder. And you guys are just hoping and wishing and praying that he don't do it. That Deontay Wilder does not take that deal. And then not only that, this could be a ploy for them just to get attention drawn to themselves. You know, Eddie Hearn is good at that. Very good at that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. You know, oh, but 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 all this game playing and, and throwing stuff out there so it can be the talk of the town, this, that, and the third. I feel you because it is bringing attention to it. But, yo, us real fans, yo, we kind of tired of this, man. And I believe I said in one of my other videos I wasn't going to say no more about these guys. But you know something? I just can't help it, man. <laughs> I just can't help it. I mean, who, who, I mean, they, 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 they're, they're like a circus over there. It's like, really? Good boy, man. So, you know, I, I'm just giving my input on this situation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I just really think that they're toying. They, they, it's, it's like they're trying to anger people and they're trying to anger Deontay Wilder. Because if Deontay Wilder comes in that ring angry, yeah. he just might not yeah. fight. He might get over anxious. You know, but I don't think so. But that's what Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua, is. That, that's their ploy. That's what they're thinking, as far as I'm concerned. They're thinking anything that can disrupt Deontay Wilder. Anything that can get his fans riled up. Anything that can get the news out there about them. Because they do have a fight coming up. Yes, do, and man. that Come will get people who don't that. know yeah, about yeah. Anthony Joshua here yeah. to look at the fight to see who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for instance, I was talking about this, about Anthony Joshua to my father. Yeah. My father watched that last fight. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, he wasn't impressed nah, at all. Nah. He said, yeah, the guy, yeah, he, he has the form. Yeah. <laughs> but he ain't throwing no punches. Yeah, yeah. Big, yo, big behind. I mean, look, yeah, I'm, I'm paraphrasing my pops. You know what I'm saying? But those are about his words. But, and, and you know, I'm, I'm going to tell it from my standpoint, though. Yo, big behind should have been throwing them clubs at him, man. Them sledgehammers. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, like on the cartoons back in the day where, you know, they step on dude's feet and club him over his head and bang him into the ground like he was a nail with them hammers. Yo, man, you should have been throwing them hammers straight at him. You way bigger than him, but you was worried about being counted. Come on, dude. Yo, man, yo, look, if I had your size and your power, well, you know, I'm guessing you got power like that. I doubt it, though. I, I don't think you got Deontay. You got power, but you don't have Deontay Wilder power. But you do have power. Let me put it like that. That's better said. You know what I'm saying? But if I had all that, yo, some little dude standing right there in front of me like that, who who's actually trying to come forward, yo, he would have came forward into whatever hand I decided to let loose because I would have said, okay, so this is what you're going to do. Would have blinded you with a double jab coming in and pop. Pop the piss out of your ass. You know what I'm saying? If I had that, but he ain't do that. He went 12 rounds with the guy. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna give Joseph Parker like I did before. I gave him props. You know what I'm saying? I think what he did is is he moved around like he's supposed to, cause that's a big guy. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know he 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 was pot shotting him here and there, and then he backed up um Anthony Joshua at times. Now I didn't understand that, big man. You don't let him back you up. He's coming forward. Let him walk into something. Okay, well, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come right into one of these damn sledgehammers. I dare you. That's, that, that would be me. But that's not Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is cautious. He tries to be calculated, but it's more on caution. And like I said, at times he looked just as awkward as Deontay Wilder. And that's not a slight to Deontay Wilder because he's always he's always been an awkward fighter. But when you watch 
I forget what round it was. When you watch um, Parker come in in one of them rounds, one of, in late, late, maybe like the, the fifth, anywhere yeah. from the fifth to the seventh yeah. round, and he starts throwing punches on the inside, and you watch Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Oh, he didn't know what the hell to do. He just threw his he just threw his hands up like, oh no, don't hit me, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. he's swinging. He ain't know what to do. So, I'm just saying. Let me get back to Eddie Hearn and, and Anthony Joshua. Hey, look here, man. Ain't nobody stupid, y'all. Ain't nobody stupid. We know that this is nothing but a ploy for y'all to have more of an excuse to not fight Deontay Wilder. Fine. Be like that. We know what it is, and we're going to keep reporting what it is. And after a while, sooner or later, the people over there in your country are going to start doing the same thing. They're going to wonder. What have you been waiting for? What are you waiting for? Matter of fact, and I know I'll do that in another video. That's about Amir Khan. Man, they clowned him good. <laughs> you just might be another Amir Khan, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyway, old man boxer fan signing out. Peace.